you don't have any data you have not done any research but still you want to publish a research paper because your guide or your supervisor is forcing you and you feel stuck well let me help you here without even doing any research or having any kind of data you can still publish a research paper in sci or scopus journal there are two ways through which you can still publish a research paper first is a review article and second is by being a co author confused come on let's understand so the first type of paper is a review paper review paper or a review article is a summary of the works that have been done in that field so basically you will pick up a topic find out all the information that is available on that topic in the past 4 to 5 years and then write a summary of it in your own words and call it a review paper now there are three types of review na papers that you can write first is a narrative review paper second is a systematic review paper and third is a meta analysis review paper. now we will try to understand about this in a later narrative review paper is a kind of paper where you gather knowledge around that topic and summarize it in your own words these are mostly common in humanities and social sciences systematic review na paper is a kind of paper for in which you start with a question and find the answer for that particular research question we already have a research question and we read other papers according to that these are mostly common in healthcare medicine and life sciences third type is a meta analysis research paper where we read all those papers those have either a common research question or a common methodology mostly quantitative studies are a part of these kind of papers so if you are planning to write a review paper let's have a look at the structure of that paper general stru- general structure of a review na paper is title abstract body conclusion and references now let's have a look on second way of publishing a research paper without doing any research this ma- this method is publishing as a co-author so basically you have not done anything but you have helped somebody and in turn they put your name as an uh, as an author in your paper and ultimately you get a published paper now there would be some new persons in your lab who don't know much about research you can help them or guide them for research related works and in return you can ask them to put your name as a co-author like here here is a paper in which i am a co-author there are various certain valid conditions in which you can ask your lab mate to put your name as a co co-author in their paper first if you have helped your lab mate to collect or synthesize the data or to get permissions to collect that data from a, a certain place second if you have helped that lab mate to write the manuscript make sure that you have done more than 75% of the writing part of the manuscript if you fulfill any of the above two two conditions then you can ask your lab mate to add your name as a co-author in their research article so i hope these tips will help you for more such tips press the subscribe button and in comments tell me which ma- method are you going to use comment i am going to use the first way 
और आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस सेकेंड वे टिल द नेक्स्ट टाइम टेक केयर